Hey guys, so today I'm back with another video and today we're going to be talking about 20 things you can do in quarantine to stay busy or if you're bored you can do these things and this is not limited to male or female you can do this whoever you are wherever well i mean okay so yeah i made a list of 20 things you could do if you're bored and i know some of y'all bored during quarantine so well some of y'all aren't even in quarantine anymore but i know i'm not trying to go out catching these viruses and stuff so i mean not these but you know what i mean so i'm trying to stay in the house i'm trying to keep my distance i don't know what y'all are doing y'all better stay in the house please don't be trying to spread nothing don't be catching nothing and don't spread it to the elderly Period! and at risk people okay so the first thing you can do is meditate meditation is really like good for your mind and like you know just to clear your mind and just take a a breather out of your day you can do this like anytime like just take a few minutes out of your day just you know there's meditation apps there's you can i get you could probably look it up on youtube who knows but next thing is to listen to music and just chill you know or you can um create playlists so like whatever mood you're in you can create a playlist to match that mood or you can just make different playlists just of anything you know anything you're feeling okay um next thing is to cook or bake because i know like cooking and baking can be therapeutic for some people and cooking is just overall fun and then the next thing is to journal slash write down your feelings so this actually helps me like when my mind is just there's just too much stuff going on in my mind i like to write down my feelings and it just helps it's just a way for me to get my feelings out you know and then the next thing is to watch a movie or start benching a new show. So, like, like any. So this is for people who like have Netflix. Well, I mean, you don't have to have Netflix, but like whatever thing you, whatever platform you use to watch movies or stream shows or whatever, Hulu, Disney Plus, whatever, you could watch a movie or start binging a new show. Like currently, I'm watching Shameless. I'm on season nine, and it's really good. I started at like the end of May or the beginning of June and I'm on the last season so I almost finished that whole nine season thing in a month so I'm pretty proud of myself but it's actually not that long because it's only 12 episodes per season so yeah okay so the next thing is to go for a walk you know just enjoy nature chill maybe put your headphones in listen to music just look around and take a walk that's always a good thing to do i do that sometimes but not currently because it's 90 degrees outside and i do not have time for that but yeah taking walks is fun and then uh next thing is to clean up around the house or clean your room and like organize things so this is the perfect time since you're at home I know y'all got dirty dishes in your room. You need to take to the sink. Y'all got stuff on the floor. Y'all need to pick it up. Y'all got stuff all over your room. And that was me, but I clean my room, so I'm good now. But yeah, y'all can clean up your room. Y'all can organize stuff around the house. Or y'all can ask your parents. Y'all could be like, uh, can I get some money if I do this or that? I mean, I don't know. People's parents are different, but like some parents will let you like get money for doing certain things the next thing is to make a collage or a vision board so this is a really fun thing to do you just take a poster or if you don't have a poster you could take like a car a, a cardboard box or something and you can like glue pictures words cut out from magazines or newspapers and stuff or you can print them if you want but if you don't have access to a printer you can like cut out stuff or and yeah this and basically you're doing like your future goals and your like inspiration stuff you want to achieve so and this gives you inspiration you could put it up in your room or wherever you want to put it up at that's a really good idea and then the next thing is to read a book i know since quarantine has started i have not read anything and i probably need to because i need to get my vocabulary before the next school year starts but yeah 
Next is just to do a self-care day, do a face mask, maybe take a bubble bath, you know, just do stuff like that. Just take care of yourself. Yeah. And then another idea is to try new hairstyles. That's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to do new stuff with my hair. And also, I don't, y'all probably can't tell, but recently I cut my hair. I cut it like a few inches off. I cut all the damaged parts off. So my hair goes to like right here now. Before it was like, let me see. I probably cut like. Probably just a few inches. I mean, I mean that's a lot to some people, but it's not that big of a deal for me because like it's just hair and it grows back. Well, that's me. But um, and then next thing to do is go through your closet and go through all your clothes and like put stuff that you want to give away. You can give away to Goodwill or like homeless shelters or i think you could give to homeless shelters and then or you can go on like poshmark or whatever app you can use mercari whatever you use to sell stuff and you can sell clothes and you know just make some money while you're at it and then next thing to do is do a photo shoot like you can get ready get all dolled up and stuff and just take a photo shoot go outside in the sun or something or do it in your room like we're not doing nothing else. Might as well get a good photo out of it. Okay, so the next thing you can do is um, rearrange your room. I know a lot of times, like, I used to always rearrange my room because I just like change. I just like to feel like I'm in a new environment. But, yeah, you can, like, well, I mean, this is for people, like, if your room is big enough or something, you could, like, move your bed around, move, like, just rearrange the furniture in your room so yeah and then the next thing you can do is um start a business so, like if you want to be a young entrepreneur you can i mean it's kind of hard to start a business it's not that easy but if you really want to do it like if you're 100 percent like gonna like go through with it you can start a business like you can make things buy stuff like wholesale stuff like if you don't know, wholesale stuff is like, like bulk, buy stuff in bulk and then like sell it for more. And like, you gotta like make your, like you gotta know how to do math so you can know how to figure out how much your profit is gonna be and stuff. That's the stuff I had to figure out when I used to sell candy at school. But yeah, um, by the way, if y'all want me to do a video on selling candy, like how to sell candy at school, I can do that. But yeah. I'm sorry, I say but yeah a lot. I just noticed that. Um, so the next thing is do some self-discovery. Like you can try to learn new things about yourself. Like ask yourself like questions from deep within. You know, just get to know yourself. Just like, you know. Okay. last but not least is to um work on your goals like any goals that you want to accomplish like most people are sitting at home doing nothing so you might as well do stuff that you've always well not like stuff that you can do in the house like or just like work on your mental health just do stuff to take care of yourself during quarantine and yeah that's those are all the things you can do so that was the end of the video and if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me then make sure you subscribe share it with your friends and stuff so that was the end of the list i hope you enjoyed this video hope you got something from it and i'll see you guys next time bye